How you doing, boxing fans? This is Boxing Fans 1 with my Benito Donaire vs Nishioka prediction. Um, let's start off with um, Donaire first. First of all, let me say, I think this fight is a 50-50 fight. And it's a very, very good fight. It's a very, very good fight. But I, I do see this as a 50-50 fight. Um, let's start off with Donaire. I haven't really been too impressed in his last few fights. Um, his last fight was at least Jeffrey Matabula. I think um, Nonito Dene was a bit too gun ho in that fight. I uh, didn't see him use the jab enough. I'd like to see him use the jab more. I think he went into that fight trying to produce that one big knockout punch. Uh, I think the fans expect it from him after that Montiel win. And I think he wants to please the fans. and. He goes out there, look, you know, throwing haymakers, looking for that one big knockout punch, and he did produce the knock down in the third round of that fight. Actually, um, broke Jeffrey Matabula's jaw with that punch, but um, but of course he went on to win on points. In my opinion, how I, I said, I'd just like to see him use that jab more, use the jab more, and set up the big shots with that jab, set up the combinations, and if he does that, the knockout will come. The knockout will come. Um, I was watching a Nonito Donaire training video um, for this fight, upcoming fight, just a few minutes ago, and he did talk about using the jab much more in this fight. So hopefully he will. Um, also, he's got great hand speed, good power. I think people may have got carried away um, with Nonito Donaire's power after the Montiel win. I don't think he had as much power as some people think he does but he does have very good power and also the hand speed surprises the opponent so you know, I don't I think his opponents sometimes don't see them punches coming uh, throws at very different you know throws he's got different angles um, throws his punches at different angles and um, how I said you know good footwork a very a very very good fighter um, but how I just like to see him use that jam more also why why else I'd like to see him use that jam more is if you look at Nishioka's last fight against Rafael Marquez, Marquez had a lot of success with the jab. The jab kept on tagging Nishioka a lot. So I'm sure Nonito Donne has looked at that and will be using the jab much more in this fight. Um, let's move on now to Nishioko. A very, very good fighter. A very good fighter. Um, very good timing. Very good hand speed. Has a lot of power in that left hand. He's a southpaw, also, um, but a lot of power in that left hand. I think some people don't think he has power, but if you look at his left hand, that left hand kept on tagging markers. Look at the last fight, kept on tagging markers, um, and his work rate is very impressive. Even you know he's he's 35 years old, but if you what he's got a great engine on him. If you look at look at him. In his fights, he's, he's, he seems his work rate seems to get better as the fight goes on. You know, he seems to pick up energy as the fight goes on, even at the age of 35. So he has great work rate. Um, his fight fight against Rendell Monroe. Rendell Monroe is very well known to have good work rate. Nishioka pretty much outworked him. Um, timing very Nishioka's got very very good timing. So I think that's going to be key. Whose timing will be spot on? Who you know? Who it's going to be a chess match this fight? Whose jab will have the more success? And both have both have good power and both have speed. It's going to be a very very interesting fight, a very very intriguing fight. I can't wait for it. Um, Nishoko's chin, I think he, he got he got knocked out. Vis John not knocked out. Sorry, knocked down. Vis Johnny Gonzalez, but he got back up and produced not knocked Johnny Gonzalez out in the third round. I think. I think it was a third, third or fourth. I'm not too sure. So, um, so I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really worry too much about his chin. But, um, but no, it's going to be a great, great fight. Um, I'm, it's a hard one to call, but I'm going to go for Nishioko to win on points. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a split decision. Um, because it's a 50-50 fight. I think it's going to be a really tight one. This fight's going to be a tight, tight fight. And. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go for a points victory for Nishioko. I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, if he went, if Donaire, Donaire won on points, because I wouldn't be surprised if Nishioko won in many people's eyes, but it was given to Donaire. 
So I wouldn't be surprised, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Um, of course, Don Neri is the more well-known fighter out in the States. So I, I want to see, I'll, it may turn out to be a robbery. You know, it may not, because how I said, it could be a tight fight. It could be a very tight fight. It could be a fight that could have gone either way. Um, the undercard also is great. You've got Rios vs Mike Alvarado. That's going to be a great fight. I'm going to try to put a prediction out for that also. But um, yeah, hopefully Box Nation here in the UK will, will you know, get this get this fight. You know, Nishioka, Donaire and Rios and Alvarado, um, you know, air it for us. Please do Box Nation. Because we, you know, as boxing fans, this is going to be a great, great night of boxing. And um, give me give me your thoughts. Tell me who you think is going to win um, out of Nishioko and Dornier. And um, I'm going to go for Nishioko on points. Um, let me know your let me know your thoughts. Cheers, guys. Take care.